Nobody should lose their job for sharing information with parents. I just thought it was a petition that I just received as an email. I shared it and I just thought that was the end of it. And for the school to take sides with one parent who has complained is hard to believe. I've been working at um, the secondary school for a um, total of seven years. So one year was a, a temporary position and then it became permanent. So I've been there for a total of seven years. And, um, and everything's fine, you know, everything has been fine for, for myself working at the secondary school. I've had no problems at all with school, with children, I've had no problems. I'm just, a, I'm a Christian, I follow God's law and I'm teaching my children God's law so they can walk it out too. It's just such a shame that I cannot share this information with my friends who know I'm a Christian. I was given this letter um, from the primary school. It's just inviting parents to come and have a look. Um, it says here, this year we are using several storybooks to help our school community promote diversity and celebrate difference. Children will become very familiar with the phrase, no outsiders in our school. I don't know what I was expecting. I just knew that, what did it mean by equality and diversity? I just didn't know, you know, the letter was, wasn't very clear. And there was only three parents um, that were there. One was a grandparent, and then there was myself, and there was another parent. And the, the books were laid out. Um, to me, it didn't seem that it was just about anti-bullying. There seemed to be something more underlying, you know, like Jacob's in a new dress, and also, you know, the red crayon, you know, how they could, children could choose their own gender, it, it appeared to me. Um, so yeah, so it, was, it seemed very confusing for my child because of our Christian beliefs. These are the um, Facebook posts that I shared on my Facebook account, my personal Facebook account. So this is the, the Judy Bess, so they're doing the Jacob's new dress and the red crayon story. And then I put another post on there on the 24th of October 2018. I didn't know at that time really what a big impact all of this was going to have. I just thought it was a petition that I just, I just received as an email, I shared it, and I just thought that was the end of it. I just, you know, parents could sign it if they wanted to and they didn't have to sign it. They just, just, just shared the information. But did I think it would get to this? No. They thought the post that I was sharing was homophobic and very um, like negative. Did you realise that other parents can see these? And um, so I just thought, well, I suppose it's on Facebook. I suppose people are going to see them. Um, and I didn't really think I did anything wrong. And then I obviously was sent home and I thought, you know, why am I being sent home? You know, I've not done anything wrong. I just shared in some information to parents about, you know, what the government's planning and and a critique from, you know, an article on, on, on a couple of books that are uh, being read. So um, I came home, I cried, because I was in shock, I suppose. But I still didn't think I did anything wrong. It's shocking to think that I've lost my job because of one parent who has complained to the school because they didn't agree with um, what I shared um, on my Facebook page. And for the school to, to take sides with that parent is hard to believe. My husband went to go and collect my belongings yesterday from my, um, and I just saw them and I just, just it was sad because I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't treated any child any differently because I'm not against people, I'm not against children. I'm not against any LGBT person. I'm not homophobic, I'm none of those things. I'm just trying as a parent to help my child be taught how 
what God says. And we follow the Bible and that is what we do. And that's what they were teaching in the schools not so long ago. They were teaching my child God's way, but now they're changing it. And I just wanted other parents to see the changes that are happening. Why are you doing this? Question? Why am I doing this? I'm doing this for the children. I'm doing this as a parent of what we're teaching our children God's way. And I'm doing this because I love the children. It's the next generation. I'm doing it to help the children. And I'm doing it for Jesus.